All right, students, so welcome back. So now let's talk about coloring this thing in. So what we want to do is we're going to pick complementary colors for this. And remember, complementary colors are sets of colors across from each other on the color wheel. So red and green, yellow and purple, or uh, blue and orange are the three main sets of complementary colors. So I am going to use blue and orange is what I've decided. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and starting in close to the center, I'm going to start filling in. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do every other box or cell is going to be the color. So going back and forth. And as long as you do every other cell, you get a really cool effect. Yet again, take your time with this. Okay, make sure you stay in the lines. Op art often really needs clear, crisp colors to get that uh, illusion of movement on a piece of paper. So for that, I'm going to take my time. Obviously, if you do not have markers, you have crayons, this will still work. If you don't have crayons, you have colored pencils, this will still work. So don't worry about what kind of colors that you choose. Even if you only have black and white, you could do this all black and white and get a really, really cool effect. Okay, so what you would do is you keep going back and forth with your colors and you'll color the whole thing in. Uh, once you do that, you'll have a really cool piece of op art, and that twisting illusion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different set of colors for this other two sides. I'm going to keep the, the blue and orange going here and the blue and orange here, but I'm going to pick a different set of those colors here. For example, I might choose a different blue, maybe a slightly different orange as well, just to give it some variety in our piece of art. Okay, so you'll see this final piece posted uh, right with the assignment so you know what I'm looking for as you make this uh, for yourself. So good luck, have fun. This one's really fun. If you mess up, don't get too upset. Um, just try again to do the spiral. Um, it's really not that hard once you start getting the pattern. So have fun and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon.